The new M1 iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch, features a mini LED display. However, it's not all good news and there's a major issue with it, or so we've been told. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Tech Commune, we uncover Apple tech and Apple related tech. So hit that subscribe button if that's what you're into. But today I'm gonna to take a deeper dive in this so-called blooming effect and why so many people are getting annoyed by it. So what is the blooming effect? Well, with mini LED display, it works slightly differently to OLED and LCD. It's actually more closer to LCD than it is to OLED. So the way that it works is that it's got the same RGB sort of color pixel layer essentially on the top. And then it's got a whole bunch of LEDs, actually 10,000 LEDs with over 2,500 or so uh, local dimming zones. So what that means is, is that when you have a bright area, the LEDs in that bright area are gonna really you know, be on. And then in the dark areas, the LEDs are basically gonna turn off. Now the issue is, is with the contrasted areas. So for example, with white text on a black background, the LEDs behind the white text will obviously turn on. But because it can't turn on the, in the exact uh, sort of, um, you know, way that the writing is, is at, like an OLED would, you see the LEDs behind the writing also lighting up the surrounding areas, giving you this blooming effect. Now, you don't get this issue with LCD displays, which is why a lot of people, when they seen this, uh, were really surprised. And that's because with LCD displays, even though the blacks aren't black, and I'll show you a little comparison later, the... LEDs don't actually turn on and off in different sections. It's just almost one LED or just a set of LEDs and they just turn on all at the same time and turn off all at the same time. So let me show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off these lights over here and I am going one by one. So give me a second. So I'm gonna turn off each of these lights and we're gonna focus our efforts on this screen over here. Now what I've done is, is I've turned the brightness at 100%. And here we've got the YouTube video. So this is the LG OLED black uh, 4K HDR 60 frames per second video, okay? And we can already see the effect. So you might be able to see it on video, but right on here, if you can see around this text over here, we're seeing this blooming effect. Again, around these icons over here, we are seeing a blooming effect around here we are seeing a blooming effect because the LEDs aren't just lighting up this little triangle, for example, because it can only light up a set of four at a time. What it's doing is actually lighting up the area here and even the area here. And then even this little timeline as well, the LEDs aren't perfectly lined up with everything. It's actually turning on around the areas. So I hope you can see that. And that is essentially the blooming effect. But does it actually affect your viewing experience? So let's just press play and let's have a look. So I've turned down the sound because I don't want to get copyright striked. Okay, but this is an LG video and this is just to promote their OLED panels. So the idea behind this video is that we're going to see very bright whites with very dark blacks. And this sort of contrast is where we see the blooming effect. Now watching a normal HDR uh, video, honestly, I watched a whole bunch of Dolby Vision HDR content and I can barely see it. Like this bit here, yes, you can see slight blooming because the contrast is so high. Again, over here, we're seeing the same again. But when you're looking, but your focus isn't around this edge, it's around this gorgeous sort of uh, video. So with HDR video, no, you can't see it, but if you have a look at the UI against the black background, can you see there is that blooming effect? So now let's switch it to the Notes app. So a lot of people have said that when they are writing in dark mode and uh, they have, let's say, a white uh, pencil, what happens is you'll see the blooming effect. Now we again, we see the blooming around these icons. And if we just do a little drawing, can we see the blooming effect? So with the thicker line, yes, we can see it. Now let's try a thinner line. So now I'm gonna just use a thinner line and we're gonna see if we get the blooming effect. And actually thinner lines cause a worse blooming effect. So I really can see. So thin lines are definitely worse and I can see that straight away because the LEDs around here just aren't turning on small enough to follow this line. Whereas using a thicker 
pencil because it's near enough matching the LEDs that are turning on behind it, the blooming effect isn't actually as bad. But if we use a thinner outline, we can see it pretty bad. I don't know if that's gonna show perfectly on video, but honestly, that is very noticeable. Now again, we have the brightness set at 100% and we are in a pretty much obviously pitch black room. And the final test is actually a video that I had created. So let's press play and have a look and see. So yeah, I can see the blooming effect. So, as, so we're going towards the edges. Okay, so I can see a slight halo around here and the halo does stay around it, but not as bad. And then it's gonna get really small. And this was the really interesting bit for me. So as you can see, or well, may not be able to see, but from my angle here, I can see the little LEDs as it's following this little white uh, light. It's turning off, it's like flickering, and it's, it's not a smooth circle or halo around it. It's very flickery, it's almost like a firework effect around this little uh, dot. And I really hope it's gonna pick up on camera, but it's really noticeable here. It, it's turning on and off. I'm, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna sort of play that again because this little test was so interesting. Like it's just flickering, like it's, it's doing this around the LEDs, because around this little light, because the LEDs are obviously trying to follow this light and it's because it's such a small white point, it's much more noticeable. So let's turn the lights, oh, geez. Uh, let's turn the lights back on. Oh, that is bright. Okay, so, looks, looks good, looks good. So is there a problem with this mini LED display? Or did we actually know about it even before the launch? Yes. We knew this was going to happen. We knew that there was going to be a blooming effect. I don't know why people are surprised by this because we know the nature of the technology is not going to be like OLED. I think even a Zone of Tech or whatever did actually do a video talking about the differences between LCD, mini LED and OLED. And he literally nailed it where he said, with white text on a black background, it's not gonna be pin sharp like an OLED like you would see on your iPhone, but it's more gonna have a halo effect, but at least it's gonna look much more black in the surrounding areas than it would do on an LCD. That's what you're getting. You're getting the best of both worlds because you're not gonna get this, you know, like grayish black on uh, an LCD and you're not gonna get obviously that pitch black like you do on an OLED and the accuracy of an OLED, but you're also not gonna suffer from those burning issues that OLEDs have been plagued by. And also OLEDs don't get as bright as LCD panels can get. So this is the best of both worlds because this features 1000 uh, nits of brightness with 1600 nits of peak brightness. That's fantastic. And to show you that mini LED is the future and it's actually not that bad. I'm actually gonna grab the M1 MacBook Air and this is gonna have the same video as what we just played. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the lights and I'm going to show you the difference between the two. So we got the iPad over here and we got the LCD display just over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure both are at its brightest and I'm gonna turn off the lights again so we can simulate the same conditions as before. And I'm gonna show you the difference between the two and you tell me whether the blooming effect is worth the cost uh, for those deeper blacks around the, uh, around the rest of the area over this sort of grayish tone that we see on LCDs that really hasn't changed in several years. So I'm gonna play it at the same time. So three, two, one, okay. And I mean, it's just night and day, <laughs> genuinely. Like, look, look at the difference. Just look at the difference, you know? It's just gray over here. It's honestly just gray, whereas the rest of this is off. It's just completely off. Yes, we see a little bit of haloing around here, but honestly, to get this kind of contrast without any burning issues, this is just fantastic. And I mean, you guys can clearly see the difference because I definitely can just by looking at it. This looks gray. This is not black. This is not black at all. This over here is black. So yeah, in my opinion, this mini LED display is absolutely fine. There 
is no issue with it whatsoever. We knew that there was going to be some blooming effect because, well, it's a mini LED display. It's not a micro LED display and it's not an OLED display, but it is so much better than what we've been used to on iMacs and, and MacBooks for so many years. Honestly, this mini LED display is just fantastic. I don't see why people are complaining about it because if you knew how the technology works, you knew that this was going to happen. So I wasn't particularly surprised. And I think the trade-off isn't bad whatsoever. In this test, obviously, this was the most extreme with this little uh, dot. And I can obviously see the LEDs working really hard to kind of chase around it. And the blooming effect on smaller, brighter objects is a lot worse than on bigger, brighter objects. So that's why on HDR, you know, video content, when you're watching a movie, it's honestly not noticeable. But when you have uh, the notes app, for example, in dark mode and you're using that thin pencil line, you're gonna notice it a lot more. So there are a couple of fixes if you are bothered by the blooming effect. Just don't use dark mode, use light mode. It's as simple as that because the notes app in light mode doesn't have the blooming effect. It's only when you have a black background with a very bright white uh, foreground. So that's when you're gonna see that blooming effect. However, if you've got a white background with black writing, you're not gonna see any issues whatsoever. And like I said, 95% of my daily use, uh, I've not noticed it whatsoever. And I've actually enjoyed the experience on the mini LED. And just to let you guys know, I will be doing a full review on this uh, in the next sort of week or so, just to give you my thoughts on this iPad, because there are some really good points, but there are also some really bad points. And I'm gonna let you know all of it. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see that. And also just hit that like button as well to let YouTube know that you've actually learned something about this new M1 iPad. Also, use the links down in the description below to support the channel. Honestly, that really does help me out. But if you wanna watch more content from me right now, you guys know what to do. There are two fantastic videos right over here. Just go ahead, click on them. You're gonna enjoy it. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.